Hey pop star, love you guys and get ready because I'm going to finish that sentence. Satisfied from Hamilton. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's when Angelica is singing about never being satisfied. I love it. Too much with someone at your level, what the hell is the catch? Is the feeling of freedom, of seeing the light is Ben Franklin with the key and the kite. You see it, right? The conversation lasts two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything we said in total of three minutes. If I could have any superpower, it would be shape-shifting. I've always had dreams that I'm a bird and I can fly, and I think that'd be cool to do in real life. The advice I'd give my younger self would be to take things one day at a time, no pun intended. <laughs> um, I just, it would have saved me a lot of stress if I just kind of focused on one thing at a time and not thought about everything I had to do at once. The last movie that made me cry was Wonder Woman. I've also seen that three times in theaters and I cried every time. It was phenomenal, truly. The most used app on my phone is two of them. It's Instagram and Twitter. I'm always on those. It's becoming an addiction. I need to stop. I, d I, I went on a cleanse for a second and I deleted the apps and I had them back on my phone by the end of the day. I was like, wow, the lack of self-control here. <laughs> The last thing I Googled was the Bill Nye, the Science Guy theme song. I checked and it's because I work at Sony Studios, we film one day at a time there, and Bill Nye is filming his new Netflix show in the stage right in front of us. So I was walking to lunch one day and Bill Nye's name was just on the wall and I freaked out and then played the theme song and stood there waiting for him to get there. Hey, Bob Star, you can play too. Finish that sentence down below with your own answers.